So welcome to today's presentation on the Angel Capital Raising Round for Investing Accelerator, Eric Cito Research Limited. So for this company, the goal is to help Americans retire. 61% of Americans are worried they won't have enough money to pay the bills in retirement. Americans, Canadians, and a lot of people around the world are struggling with the concept of retirement especially as we're living longer and longer with medical advances. Now, on the other side, we have a rise of DIY investors. 31% of investors allocating to online discount brokerages compared to 19% just six years ago. And with both of these trends combined, what we get is a very strong demand for financial education. The traditional retirement model requires a person to save a million dollars, with a 4% withdrawal rate to get around 40000 per year. Now it's capital intensive and a lot of people don't save enough for retirement. It is still possible to save and invest to get to a million, but it will require you to work all the way till 65. So that's why a lot of people can't achieve their retirement goal. Now after hopping on a thousand calls with people that are looking to retire in the next 5 to 20 years, most people want to retire with 100000 a year. And I work backwards and I figure out what is the return you need to get if you only have $300,000 to invest. And the return you need to get is around 30%. And this is what sparked me to create the investing coaching program called Investing Accelerator. So Investing Accelerator focuses on teaching people without a financial background more advanced investing strategies to generate a higher return and also generate monthly passive income for retirement. In fact, for our audience, this is actually the most useful strategy as it creates a more predictable cash flow so that they can fund their retirement. So essentially, what they'll learn in Investing Accelerator is how to find discounted stocks, how to use options to multiply their return, and how to generate consistent income using options. So my name is Eric. I'm a chartered professional accountant in Canada, and I'm also a chartered investment manager. My background is XKPMG Audit and M&A. My team, Michael, he's also a chartered investment manager, and he is my VP client success. So if you are part of Investing Accelerator, you might have hopped on a call with Michael, and then he would help onboard you, and I do all the coaching and education. So you can see our team is very lean for this business. Now, one of the most common problems that startup fails is because they don't have a product market fit. Now, this problem for us is solved and we have gone past this stage because we already have 500 students in the program and those are the clients. In this program, so far, there are two hedge fund managers that learn a strategy and start their own hedge fund and there's over 800 successful investment exits, and 160 students made over 30% from their first investment, and 40 students made over 100% from a single investment. So over the years, I collected their testimonials. Benson made 100% from AMD in one year. Dexter made 110% from Activision in eight months. Lee made 60% from Activision and Blizzard, and 125% from NVIDIA, and Carolyn made 79% from Facebook in six months. This is them learning, doing it themselves, getting some help from me, and then choosing their own stock and invest. So these are all the testimonials and successful trades that are publicly shown on the website, 5minuteinvesting.com, and we have over 800 of these successful investments. To give you a better view on what is the return that can be achieved, here is the backtest data for one of the strategies I teach in the program, which I name it Friday Alpha 1. This uses a technology index and we basically just figure out when to get in and when to get out. So if you invested using one of my strategies from 2020 all the way till 2024 May, then the cumulative return is 230%, which is around 36% return a year. So a little bit above our goal of 30%. And for SUI during the same period is 67% cumulative, which is around 14% per year. And what you'll notice in this equity curve, the red one is alpha one, is that there are periods where we just hold cash. Then 
during the down cycles, we try to hold cash and that will actually improve the return. So that's one of the key ways to improve the return when it comes to this specific strategy. With the strategies I have developed in Investing Accelerator, I'm also looking to start a hedge fund in Canada. The goal is to make 30% and we'll be deploying more and more strategies that I develop in Investing Accelerator into my hedge fund as well. For Investing Accelerator, we're solving a painful problem in the market, which is retirement. We solve the product market fit problem and we have over 500 customers who love the product. So let's talk about how you can be one of the angels to invest in this startup. The problem with investing in a early stage startup. So usually they're loss making and does not generate a return until much later. And there's usually a long wait time before exiting. So usually five to seven years before IPO. And for example, Facebook took eight years to go IPO. Now for investing accelerator, it is already profitable. Uh, using my own funds, I started this operation, developed the product, and the net income is around 50K to 150K per year for the last three years. And we're looking to scale through ads. So the return on advertising, it's around 70%. So here's the financials. Here's the 2022, 23, 24. And then 25 onwards is projected based on how much money we're looking to raise here. As this business is driven by the intellectual property I developed, the amount of assets in this company is actually very low. So for example, you can see here, on average, I only have around $50,000 USD of assets in this business. And then the net income, it's around 50 to 150,000. So you can see the return on assets is quite high. And that's because the main cost is advertising, basically the cost to acquire a student. And then the marginal cost will mainly be my time to coach them. And a lot of the lessons are recorded. So the goal here is really to scale this business and four times the marketing spend so we can four times the revenue. And any remaining cash that is idle will be used to invest in the market as well to earn some additional investment income. So what is the investment format? What we're gonna do here is to do a private placement called Reg D in the United States. So the format is a preferred shares A, which means you get paid first compared to common shareholders. And the target is to offer you 12% return a year, which is 1% a month. So providing you with a monthly passive income. Now for the preferred shares, there's a bonus. It's up to 24% return a year, which is around 2% a month. So if you're planning to invest in my hedge fund, that is also going to be the target is around 12 to 24%. So it shouldn't be any difference investing between the hedge fund versus this coaching company itself. So if you're retired, you're looking for some cash flow, I think this is a great format to offer you as an angel. And ideally, we want to give you 1% a month. And if the company is growing nicely in a couple of years, then we'll target 2% a month. So if some of the months were doing very well, we'll also give you 2% a month. So you can think of it as a bonus. Now, to protect ourselves from any downside risk, the dividend is non-cumulative and it's non-voting. Now, if we do go IPO, then it will be converted into common shares. Now, what if you want to redeem? If you want to redeem, there is some restriction of sale when it comes to Reg D, which is one year by the SEC. So after one year, if you want to redeem, you can reach out to us. And based on our discretion, we can uh, redeem it based on a formula, which will be in the legal document. Now, let's talk about who can invest. Accredited investors. So if you don't know what that is, it is at least your income needs to be over 200,000 for an individual or 300,000 to get with your spouse for the prior two years and expect reasonable level for the same year as well. Or your net worth is over 1 million for liquid assets like a portfolio, excluding primary residence. So most people usually will fall into one of these two categories in order to invest. There are some additional criteria that you can search up to see if you are an accredited investor as well. What is the minimum investment amount? 100,000. So what you're getting is around 1,000 a month with this investment, so 12,000 a year. And then if there are some good months, then you can get up to 24,000 
a year. So the preferred shares are priced at $10 a share. So what's the tax treatment? <laughs> as an accountant, I did a lot of research on this to make it as tax efficient for you as possible. So for U.S. residents investing in foreign companies, there's actually a tax rule called Passive Foreign Investment Company. Essentially, any dividends you get you know, from the preferred shares will be taxed similar to ordinary income. Now, this is great if you're retired, you want a passive income, and your income is low with very high level of assets, target 1% to 2% a month, 12 to 24% return a year. So this is perfect. You can just hold it yourself if you're you know, close to retired. Now, if you want to use your IRA to invest, you also can use your IRA to invest. And I think that is the best option for most people if you have a large IRA account. So we're raising through Reg D in USA. So you can actually use a self-directed IRA account to invest. So if you have a lot of money in a 401k account, you can also roll it into a self-directed IRA and then invest through that method. So this allows you to delay the tax, and you can take out the income when you're ready. So you can kind of time when you take out that income. Now, you'll notice that this company is based in Hong Kong. And one of the good things about Hong Kong is that it has a 0% dividend withholding tax. So when I pay you, there's no withholding, which makes life easier. And using Reg D, we can also raise capital from a larger number of investors, which the maximum is 2000 and the minimum investment is 100000 Now, for the Canadian hedge fund, the withholding tax to U.S. residents is 15%. Canadians, there's also a 15% dividend tax. And there's actually only a limited number of U.S. investors, so maximum 15 So if you're a U.S. investor or in Asia, your best approach is to invest in investing accelerator this company which gives you a similar return as if you're investing in the hedge fund if you're canadian then i would recommend you to invest in the hedge fund because that is more tax efficient for you so the hedge fund will be launched in the coming months okay so let's talk about risks since i'm an investor as well i'm also an entrepreneur now it is possible the company can perform poorly now the solution to that is that preferred shareholder gets paid first and there's no dividend payments for common shareholders like myself until at least you get 12% return. So I want to give you more certainty. Now, idle cash will be used to invest in the market to generate a return as well. Now, when it comes to investing in a startup or a hedge fund, it is high risk. So you need to be comfortable with the risk. And I de risk this business as much as possible because we already have 500 existing customers. So the question is really how we get from 500 to 5,000 or even 10,000 students. Now it is possible we might not IPO. And yes, that is true. But if anything, you can always redeem your preferred shares based on the formula, either at the par value or the lower of the net asset value. So after a year, if you feel like there's a better investment, you can always let us know and we'll redeem you and pay you back. We might spend more on advertising and encounter diminishing return. I think this is the biggest roadblock to scaling is whether we can scale the advertising spend a 70% return, so seven zero. So I spent two years optimizing the funnel and I do think it should scale. So right now on average, when we spend $1 into advertising, we get $2 back. But as we spend more, I think the return will go down a little bit. But based on my projection, we should still be able to hit the target and provide you with 12% return and maybe a little bit higher. So where are we today? So right now, we are in the very first fundraising round, the angel round. And we want to scale through ads and any idle cash will be invested using the strategies I described earlier. And the roadmap for fundraising is really angel aiming for 1 million to 10 million, $10 per share. Series A, 10 to 100 million. And then Series B, 200 to 300. And then Series C, around a billion. And then we IPO. Now, in terms of the fundraising roadmap, what I'm aiming for is the first 25 million to come from accredited investors like yourself. So based on my estimation, 
there will be around 100 to 250 spots uh, max before we hit this target because the minimum investment is 100,000. Step two, 75 million will come from pension fund where they invest 20 to 25 million. So there's going to be three to four spots for pension funds, basically these larger institutional investors. And then what we want to do is to build three years of track record and then we'll raise 100 million worth of debt. So then the debt to equity ratio will be around one to one. And during this time, I'll also build the IPO team. And at that point, we'll go IPO. Now, the ideal shareholding breakdown right before IPO is 50 million shares where the founders have 50%, employees 10, and from angel to series B, it's around 20. So right now it's around $10 a share, but over time, this will increase. And then public IPO, I'll reserve 20% as well. So initially, you know, when we don't have that many employees and we're just starting out, you might find that the percentage ownership will be higher. But over time, as we issue more and more shares, this is the final allocation I'm aiming for. So this is the ideal shareholding big breakdown right before IPO. Now let's talk about how much you should invest. Now this is a high risk investment. So if you have 1 million for all of your portfolios combined, then this is how I would allocate it to be safe. At least half a million in indexes, whether that is leveraged or non-leveraged. So what you're really aiming for is 10 to 20%. So in investing accelerator, I taught people how to do that. So you should have almost no problem achieving this return. And then you have 200,000 in individual stocks you pick for long-term investing. And these usually give you a higher return than indexes, which is around 15 to 30%. That's the targets you would be aiming for in terms of return. $100,000 for monthly passive income strategy. So this creates cash flow for yourself to supplement your income if you're close to retirement or retired. Again, this is all covered and taught in investing accelerator. And then finally, I would allocate 100K to 200K to prefer shares A, which is this fundraising round for investing accelerator. And I think this is a very safe and comfortable allocation because you're getting a good amount of income. You're getting some flexibility where you're choosing individual stocks to invest. You have a very strong foundations with indexes, leverage and non-leverage. And you're also getting an additional income stream using the preferred shares where you get paid first. And if we go IPO, this can potentially be multiplied as well. So if you're interested, then you can click on the button below and schedule a call to see if you're a good fit. And during that call, we'll discuss and answer any questions you have. And then we'll also review the subscription agreement and term sheet. So you can take some time to decide. And then afterwards, if you sign it, then you can communicate with your RA account broker to fill out the directive form for the purchase. Once you subscribe, the first dividend will be paid 90 days after subscribing. So basically from the third month onwards. So that gives me time to take in the cash, deploy it, start generating a return or park it in the market until we scale the ads effectively. So that's when you should expect the first dividend. And initially, honestly speaking, I would aim for 1% a month. And then after the company grows for another one to two years, then we'll try to go for 2% a month. So you're getting somewhere between 12 to 24% return a year. So that is the plan. Thank you for attending this presentation. And if you schedule a call, then we'll speak soon.